we didn't come out with the same sense of urgency. We went into the halfway, um, probably got a little too comfortable. Uh, it's happened the last few games, so it's something we need to address. Um, and just staying locked in, being focused the whole time. Uh, you know, I thought we were we were solid uh, throughout the game. You know, that first four to five minutes of the second half, I think they scored almost every possession, and that definitely changed the tone of the game. Did they change anything up defensively? Did they? Yeah. Uh, no, not for the most part. Uh, you know, they were aggressive coming out. They, we, it was more so a lapse on us, and they took advantage and made the plays. They made the shots they needed to. And like I said, that changed the tone, and they probably were more physical, if anything. And, and the coach said that at halftime, they're going to come out and be more physical, and we just we didn't match it right away. You guys played great defense in the first half. How do you carry on with that defense for the second half? Being locked in, just staying focused. Uh, like I said, it was mostly just kind of mis miscues and mishaps. We got some open shots, and you know, great players like that they have, we're going to take advantage and make them. Coach mentioned that he doesn't think that your record at this point reflects your play. Do you feel the same way? Yeah, I definitely think so. Uh, you know, first put three games in the pack, uh, we struggled, but you know, Arizona game, we were right there until like the last five minutes. Uh, Utah, we were in most of, the, most of that game. Oregon, we were up at half. So um, if you look at our, our last games lately, you know, Oregon State lost by one. We, we've been in the games or we've been playing with the team. So, you just got to, you know, make it a 40-minute game. From your perspective, what's it going to take to be able to pull out some of those games and walk away with the win? Little things. And so at the end of the day, I mean, the, the great teams do little things. They, they take advantage of opportunities and make the plays. And we got to take advantage when teams slip up and, and make mistakes. And we got to make sure we don't slip up. Byron, how do you feel after a loss like that when you played so well in the first half, particularly yourself? How did you guys feel at halftime? You were shooting really well, but you, it kind of seemed like you only had a six-point lead rather than you know being up possibly 10, 15. <laughs> What is it that prevents you guys from being consistent for the course of an entire game? Um, I don't know. We just have we just have some stretches where we don't get the job done defensively, and when we take plays off on defense, it shows. It's not going better than us. The team has matured. I think there's improvement in that area. Oh uh, yeah, I feel like every game we continue to get better. Um, <coughs> After a loss like this tonight, there's still a lot of positives to draw from. You know, 
some guys came in and played really hard off the bench. DJ was a huge boost for us. So there's always some positives to draw. But just back to the drawing board and get ready for our, our next game. Offensively, did you guys find it to be tougher in the second half once they stopped missing shots? Is it more difficult to get out in transition and everything? Yeah, always. Um, a big part of our game is transition as well. And when you're not getting stops, you got to take the ball out every time, walk it up the court. And that allows them to set up their defense. They were able to get in their zone, which, which kind of gave us some problems early in the second half. And uh, basically, once, once we stopped getting stops, um, it really changed the game.